All right, we're back with Jeopardy for Sega Genesis. Let's see how this one stacks up against the NES version. All right. Press A, joypads one, players one, computer players two, and we can choose our characters. To change contestant, use A, B, or C to select. All right, let's see who we can have. Um, this, that guy, this lady. Oh, that guy. This controller sucks, but um, Come on, that lady. Man, she has like no face. Okay, I guess that's all I got are those four. Let's go with this guy. He looks like serious business. All right. Let's give him a name. Oh, now the D-pad wants to work. We're going to call this guy... Um... Wait, we need to give him like a, uh, a sophisticated name. He looks sophisticated. We're going to call this guy uh, Thurgood, if that fits. My name is Thurgood. It doesn't fit. All right, uh, Thurgood uh, Thurston. Does that fit? No. Um, his name is going to be Theodore. Theo. Doesn't fit. Your name is Todd. All right. So much for giving him a sophisticated name. Well, already graphically, this is slightly better than the NES version. And that Jeopardy music playing in the background sounds superb. And uh, I did a mashup of this. It's down in the odds and ends section. Uh, I mashed this up with the real Jeopardy theme song from this time period. This game is like mid-90s. And you can tell that, you know, based on this set design. Oh, look at that board loading sound effect from days of yore. All right. Categories. Category. Cards. Congress. Mammals. World politics. Books and authors. The 1700s. And this actually lets you change the categories. The NES version doesn't do that. And I guess we're stuck with these. So I get to pick them. And this is a vast improvement over the NES version. Like, look at how amazing this is by comparison. Let's go with mammals for 100. Though closely related to rabbits, they are generally larger and have longer ears. In this one, there is actually a buffer for when you can and cannot buzz in. And I believe the correct answer to this is hairs. I like this version better for so many reasons, not just graphically and sound-wise, but... Uh, for some reason, I actually do good at this one. You are correct. And this one actually has Alex Trebek in it. Which to me is just plain awesome. And there's not all the goofy music and sound effects and weird animations and stuff. This looks like straight up real Jeopardy. I mean, the last one was a good game, but I think this one's better. Livestock, not humans, are the most common victims to these bats who feed on blood. And I believe that's vampire bats. But this just feels more like real Jeopardy. Like that other game felt more like a watered down game for kids. Um, this one like feels more genuine to me. What are vampire? I wonder if that underscore counts as space. What are vampire? That. And this gives you ample time to answer. Um, you are correct. It's a little disorienting in that there's no end button like the other one. You have to hit the C button to answer. The females of this mammal order are found mainly in Australia and have twin wombs and birth passages. I'm not exactly a biologist. What are marsupials? I did not know that. I did not know that. Okay. This vice president who resigned in 1973 was the Jack of Spades in a deck called Politicards. I don't know. Who was Spiro T. Agnew. You are correct. Go get him, Agnew. <laughs> All right, the bad impressions are back. I lied. 
With no wild cards in use, the best hand you can get in poker. I am embarrassed to admit this, but I've never played poker, so I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Oh, she's getting kinky with that answer. XXX. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm probably wrong, but I'm going to say full house. Uh, I'm not a poker player. I's never learned. Full house. Watch me be wrong. I'm gonna be wrong. This is why I did Wheel of Fortune first, because I'm better at it. But, uh, you know, I didn't even like to watch Full House on TV. I wasn't that into it. Damn C button sucks. I'm wrong. Of course I'm wrong, because I don't know. Todd doesn't know. And the guy in the middle is not going to bust in, is he? Of course not. Oh, he did. He did at the very last minute. What is a royal flush? Royal flush. Could that be right? He's right. It's royal flush. It's not a full house. Okay. I learned something today that I didn't know. All right, Congress. Thomas Philip O'Neill's nickname. Oh. I'm not familiar with 90s politics. Ooh, Laura's got something to say. What is Man, what is it with your X-rated answers, woman? I'm starting to wonder about you. Hmm. Thomas Philip O'Neill's nickname. Who's Thomas Philip O'Neill? Oh, Sam knows. Of course Sam knows. What is Tip? You are correct. I think that O'Neill guy's been meeting up with Laura. Hmm. He took a peep at Polynesian life before he took a stab at Moby Dick. Oh! Um! Damn it. Um. Shit. Herman Melville. Yeah, it's Herman Melville. I couldn't get his name out. This is why I don't play Jeopardy, because you have to be fast, and I'm not fast with this kind of stuff. Okay, the 17, in 1796, the population of this Asian nation was 275 million. Well, it's like infinity now, so I'm going to guess China. So, what is China? I'm correct! Wow! They really expanded, didn't they? Of course they did. Okay. Let's go back to cards. Why actually have to manually go up and down this way? Value of face cards when scoring gin rummy. Did I mention I'm not a card player in general? What is XXX? Laura! Laura, why? Are you a porn star or what? Fuck it, I'm guessing 10. I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm right! Yay! Okay, well. This is so riveting, isn't it? Okay. And I still got the rest of this round. Another round of Final Jeopardy. You don't want 12 of these in a game of hearts. Twelve what? Twelve what? Twelve what? What are hearts? You are correct. Well, that makes sense. I've seen hearts in, like, the games folder on just about every computer in existence, but I don't know how you actually play it. Bridge developed from this game. Ah. Uh, I don't know. What is... Wist? You are correct. What's Wist? Somebody tell me what Wist is. I don't know! Okay, uh, books. He wrote biographies of Columbus and Washington as well as Rip Van Winkle. Uh, I don't know. I don't know authors. I don't read books. I'm ashamed of myself. This is why I would never be on Real Jeopardy. Oh, she's not answering XXX this time. Who was Washington Irving? I should have known that one, because that's a name I'm actually familiar with. But I didn't say that, because I'm a big, fat dumbass. 
1755, an earthquake killed 30,000 people in this Portuguese city. Fuck it, I, 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 just, I should just sit here and let the game play itself. I don't know any of this. I don't, I don't. Oh, 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 now, you've been taking tips from Laura there, Sam. I don't like the way you're behaving right now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it, Laura. Don't you do it, Laura. You did it, Laura. Why did you do it, Laura? Why did you do it? I'm not doing it. Nope, can't make me. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. You can't make me do it. I'm not gonna do it. You know the correct response? Lisbon! Look at that 90s Trebek mustache. Mmm, nostalgia. In 1709, Russian prisoners were sent here for the first time. Uh, 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 oh, Sam might know it. Sam might know it. What is Siberia? You are correct. Oh, yeah, I guess that is a thing, isn't it? That's a thing. That's a thing that I should have known, but I didn't. All right. The last eruption of this Japanese volcano occurred in... Uh, fuck it. The only thing in Japan I know that's anything remotely resembling a volcano is Mount Fuji. It's probably not a volcano, because I suck at geography, and I would know that if I didn't. But the only thing I can think of that's in Japan is Mount Fuji, so that's what I'm going with. And I'm going to be horribly wrong and look really, really stupid. I'm right. I'm right. Uh, All right, let's go with the 1700s for the last one. The U.S. Congress met for the first time under the cons Constitution in this year. I read that as construction. That didn't make any sense. It's Constitution. What is 1789? You are correct. You are correct. Of course. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I don't care. La 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 la. Mammals. In Pierre Bouvelier's Planet of the Apes, Zira and Cornelius are this type of ape. I think they're, I think they're chimps. I saw the movie once. Or maybe they're gorillas. I don't know. I didn't pay that close attention to because I don't really care. That's probably wrong. Oh, I'm right! Yay! For taking a stab in the dark most of the time, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, I don't watch a lot of movies and stuff like that. Deepest divers of all whales. This kind has been found at depths of 3,700 feet. Ooh. I'm going to laugh if it's sperm whales, because that just would make too much sense. The idea of a sperm diving would be funny. Oh my god, it's sperm whale. <laughs> I wonder if that's why they're called that. Sperm whale. Alright. Chiang Kai-shek's son now rules this country. Well, fuck me, I don't know. I still like this one better because it's just better overall and it's more challenging. The other one it's like, okay, any brain dead moron can play this one. This one you gotta play right, son, because this is a man's jeopardy. Manly man jeopardy. Okay. I think this is the first game in this series where I actually am failing at this. What is Taiwan? It's Taiwan. Of course it's Taiwan. Why wouldn't it be Taiwan? I want to tie two, or even tie three. I don't want to just tie one. Tutored by Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau, her works include Joe's Boys. Nope, don't know this one either. Oh, Laura. You're going to say XXX. Of course you did, you dirty whore. All right. All right. All right. This is going to be a long two-part video, I can tell already. I can tell already. Who was Louisa May Alcott? You are correct. Heard of her. Didn't know what she did until now.
All right, Congress for 200. When it was established in 1800, it started with a $5,000 book budget. I am going to guess the Library of Congress because that is the only book related thing I can think of. What is the lie? Brer E. Irv. Kern. Gersh. C button. You are correct. Yay. I did so much better at the other one, but I still like this one better because it's it just looks so much better and it's more challenging. Daily double. Alright, here we go. Yeah, how much do you want to wager? I'm only going to wager five hundred, so that way I might stand a chance to tie with Sam. The length and years of a senator's term. I wanna say quarter of the president's four, I think the senator is six. I might be wrong. You are correct. I'm right! Yay! I knew it wasn't the same as the president. That's why they have like midterm elections and stuff like that, I think. Alright. Treason, bribery, and other high crimes and misdemeanors are all grounds for this. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, Sam, you get your moment. Impeachment, yeah, yeah. You are correct. Yeah, I wasn't quick enough on that one. I had it. Wasn't quick enough. The first was a nine-year-old boy appointed by Webster and Clay. I don't know. Okay, Sam, what do you got, Sam? What is a page? You are correct. Alrighty then. Uh, why am I punishing myself with this? Well, Outer Mongolia is a separate nation. Inner Mongolia belongs to this country. China. China again. Of course! I should have known. Because I did the whole South Park joke thing in the last part, and I should have known that. In 1855, in his spare time as a bookshop owner, he compiled his famous quotations. I don't know. It was John Bartlett. You are correct. I wonder if he was the pear guy. Hmm. I found you, pear guy. Alice Haley co authored the 1965 autobiography of this black Muslim. Muhammad Ali? Sam beat me. No, Malcolm X. You are correct. Well, I only knew two black Muslims, and I guessed the wrong one. Eh. Spain recently ended its blockade of the last remaining colony in Europe. I fail at this so hard. X, X, X. It's always X, X, X with you, Laura. 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 Sam, what do you say, Sam? What is Gibraltar? You are correct. After this is over, I'm going to read everything on Wikipedia. No nation in history has come as far as fast, this country says, of itself in its ads. What is Saudi Arabia? Really? They say that? They used to say that? You are correct. At one point they said that? Somebody said that? I didn't say that. World politics. New Caledonia with 25% of the world's nickel supply revolted against this country. I don't know. 
Laura says it's XXX. Of course she does. That's, that's why she's losing. <laughs> what country's known for nickel? I don't know. France? France is known for nickel? Really? Okay! My apologies to France for not knowing that. I just didn't know. Double Jeopardy. Double Jeopardy. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's see if I do any better at Double Jeopardy. Yeah. Okay. Medicine. Desserts. Nature. Historic names. Classical music. Starts with V.I. I'm a gonna go up with those cockadories. Todd! What you pick, Todd? Wanna go say, Todd? Todd is gonna go with desserts. A thick crusted deep dish pie or a shoemaker. Or a shoemaker. Oh, a cobbler! A cobbler. It's a cobbler. I got it. It's a cobbler. Cobbly, cobbly, cobbler. Like I said, if I was faster on the buzzer, I probably spelled this wrong too. If I was faster at thinking up the answer and then hitting the buzzer, I could do this with no problem. I can't. I like I'm running I don't know what else to say about these games because I just suck at them so hard. But anyway. Let's go with this same category for fun. Fruit and shredded coconut dessert that's fit for the gods. Oh, 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 oh. I'm thinking the word ambrosia popped into my mind. I don't like coconuts, so that is something that I've never had, if that is in fact what it is. There we go. Got that one. I don't know how I knew that, but I did. All right, desserts for 600. Mediterranean pastry layered with phyllo dough, nuts, and honey. I don't know again. What is baklava? Baklava. The larvae of moths and butterflies. That is the caterpillar. That's a caterpillar. What are caterpillars? They're so cute. So cute and majestic. I just want to squeeze them. Caterpillar. Was it A R or E R? I think it's E R. I haven't had to spell the word caterpillar. Since I was like six. You are correct. But I'm right. Yay! Okay. <laughs> eh, nature for 400, why not? Type of plant such as a cactus and aloe. This name means juicy. I'm not a botanist either. Laura says XXX. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, type of plant such as a cactus and aloe. This name means juicy. Okay, Sam. What do you say, Sam? Oh, taking lessons from Laura again will get you nowhere. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I give up. Succulent. So it is, so it is. All right, well, you know what? Let's just blow through these and get this over. Owls depend on their keen sense of sight and this to hunt. <sniffs> Maybe smell? Do owls smell? I don't know. I don't know anything about owls. There's hearing. Oh, that makes sense. She gave an answer that wasn't XXX. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Schubert's Incomplete Orchestral Sonata. Let the time run out, because I don't know. 
Laura. Oh, unfinished symphony. You are correct. That seems so obvious, yet so not. Favorite soap opera, disease characterized by memory loss. Oh, I forget. Oh, that's a joke. Amnesia. Amnesia! I'm so bad at this game. Why am I doing this to myself? Okay. 400. To a layman, it's Lockjaw. It is another name. What is? Oh, it's tetanus. Duh. Duh. You are correct. Uh, that's all. It's called a tetanus shot. Duh. Uh, uh. Two-letter factor inherited in blood cells. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, I should know this, but I don't. What is RH? You are correct. Damn it. Damn it all kinds of ways. I hate this. I hate this. I still like this game better than the NES one, but I'm hating this round. Tropical woods with at least 100 inches of precipitation annually. Rainforest. It's got to be rainforest. What else would it be? Rainforest. I wish I could do like a mashup category, then I could give answers like Rainforest Go. No tight idea was always really good at this game. Had always get the final Jeopardy answer. Alright, here we go. Collective name of the three kinds of North American wild sheep. Fuck me if I know. I, I don't even care anymore. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. This is useless information. Why is this happening? Bighorn, whatever. Fuck you. I don't care. This is torture. Why am I punishing myself? Lionel Barrymore, Christopher Lee, and Tom Barker have all played this mad monk on film. Uh, what was... Rasputin. You are correct. Yay. I didn't know that one either. Yay. Empress Sophie the Great didn't sound right, so she changed her name to this in 1762. I don't know. What was Catherine? You are correct. Yay. Maybe it was the other one I liked better. I'm starting to like the other one better. British sailors were called limeys for the fruit they ate to ward off this disease. Now the only uh, disease I can think of that would fit this particular situation is scurvy. So we're going to go with scurvy. And if I get this, this will be the first one I've known in a while. And it may be, you know, cause to have a party. C button fail. There we go. I need to get better controllers for this Genesis. My controller absolutely sucks. It's a Model 2 Genesis with a Model 3 controller. I don't know where the original controllers got to. From Latin to please, medicine given just to humor a patient. Oh, that's what placebo means, I bet. Placebo. I are right. Yay! I'm actually catching up now. That's what's scaring me. And my score is actually higher than the other one. I'm starting to like this one again. French for perfect, it's customarily served in a tall, thin glass. Fuck. Laura says XXX. Yay! Laura, you're not disappointing me anymore because now I expect it. French for perfect, it's customarily served in a tall, thin glass. Hmm. Oh, Sam thinks he knows something. Well, Sam, no! 
No, no, you're wrong, Sam. Oh, we're tied. We're tied. I'm just not going to answer, because if I don't answer, then I can't be wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell us, Digital Alex Trebek. No, the correct response. What is a parfait? Oh. Oh, oh, I see. I wasn't thinking, like, I wasn't thinking of that. That makes sense. Why didn't I think of that? I did not think of that. Not insignificant to the English. It's a sponge cake filled with jam and soaked with wine. Oh, isn't that like... Isn't that how they make, like... Oh, fuck. I think, isn't that how they make, like, British pudding or something? I know, I'm just going to say a pudding. All you British fans out there are probably thinking I'm really stupid right now, and that's okay. I can live it. Yeah, it wasn't, no. I, I buzzed in on a hunch, and I shouldn't have. I, I need to stop making that mistake. Really need to stop making that mistake. That's okay. We will prevail. What is a trifle? Oh, tr okay, that's what a trifle is. Okay, well, now I know. You know, this is an educational experience. You know, we don't have to know all the answers. The lady with the lamp. Ah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Mary Quazel. I don't know. Quazel makes lamps, for those of you who don't know. Uh, lady with the lamp. Mary Quazel. Sounds good to me. I'm not going to buzz in and say that, because I know that's wrong, but it sounds good to me. Okay, Sam, do you know it? Florence. Florence Nightingale. Oh, shit. You are correct. Heard of her. Never really knew what she was known for. Musical accessory whose parts are the stick head. What? 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 What is a he? No, it's not a he. Musical accessory whose parts are the stick head. Hair, frog, and screw? What is a bow? You are correct. Oh, like a violin bow! Yeah, because it's made with, like, horse hair, and there's a stick, and there's a screw to tighten it. Fuck. Alright, this great violin maker's first name was Antonio, and he didn't... And the last name didn't end in us. It's... It's Stradivari. You are correct. Yeah. Because everybody says Stradivarius. Mm -hmm. yeah. His dime novels made Buffalo Bill legendary. I, uh, oh, we're back to fuck me mode again. I don't know. Every time I get a few I know, then there's like a bunch of impossible ones. Like, what is the deal with that? Seriously. What's the deal with that? I don't know. Who was Ned... Buntling? Buntline? Flanders? I don't know. Whatever. I'm still in second place, though. Daily Double? Why the Daily Double? Why the Daily Double? I wanted the Daily Double. Why did you get the Daily Double? Alright, Laura. Inspired by paintings. Exhibition. Whatever, who cares? Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Two in a row! Oh, fuck you hard. Fuck you so fucking hard that you fuck your fucking self up your fucking ass. Just, oh, now you go back to your XXX, so you're right back where you were, so fuck you. I don't even care what the question or the answer was at this point. Just fuck you. All right. Sacred Opera. Oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> Hello, 
Just tell us the answer already! Oh, Laura. Why, Laura? Oratorio? Is that what that said? Oh, man, we're neck and neck. Cranberries grow on these. Well, they grow in a bog. Do they grow on a bog? In a bog, on a bog? Sorry? You didn't know, Sam. You didn't know. Now we're tied. On these. Do I, do I risk saying... I'm gonna risk it. Fuck it. I'm already sucking. What are... I know they do the thing in a bog. But would they say they grow on a bog? I'm gonna say bogs. I'm wrong. Of course I'm wrong. I'm always wrong. But I'm still ahead of Laura. Cranberries grow on these. I don't know. Maybe a bush? A tree? A vine? Your mom? I don't know. Oh, Laura knows. No, she... Oh, it's a, it wasn't mine. Cranberry vine. I've never exactly gone out and picked cranberries. So how would I know? Oh, it starts with V-I, duh. Pay attention to the category, dumbass. Uh, treacherous person or a venomous snake. Snake! Thanks. Snake. That's a viper. Viper. Vipe. Not vipes, viper. There we go. C! My C button sucks so hard. But I'm in the lead now. I won't stay there. It starts with VI. From French word for face, it's the front piece of a knight's helmet. Oh, damn. I don't know. I don't know. Laura thanks she does, but I'm not sure she doesn't know. Oh, she does know. Visor. Oh, visor! Oh, it's so simple once you say it. Now I'm tied with Laura. I gotta get ahead. A, C, D, E, or K. Oh, they're vitamins. They're vitamins. I got it. What is A? Vitamin. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. Maybe it's all the, uh, the uh, insanity setting it up. Well, they're vitamins. Yes, they are. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid. All right. Government official whose title means in place of the king. Oh. I want to say vice, but I don't think that's right. What is it? It's not a G. We already established that. It's never G. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to answer because I don't care anymore. I just do not care anymore. I want to get to Final Jeopardy and get this stupid shit over with. Oh, yeah, you, you know, it's oh, Vice Roy. You are correct. I had half of it. Now she's ahead of me. Boo! All right. This game is generally making me angry. Final Jeopardy. Let's get this shit over with. Final Jeopardy category is Renaissance Art. Alright. He, he, oh, they don't show you. Oh, this one, they don't show you what the other player says. Okay. This sounds hard. How much do you wish to wager? I'm not wagering shit. Born in Urbino in 1483, this painter learned much of his craft from Michelangelo and Leonardo. I'm just going to say Da Vinci because I can't think of anybody else. My picture's going all jittery. I don't know if it is on the recording, but it's definitely going uh, wonky for me. All right, Laura. I hate how they don't actually... Oh, she said XXX. Raphael. Okay, it wasn't Da Vinci, but whatever. I don't care. Let's see. Sam was correct. He wagered 1900 which puts him at 5500 So... I didn't wager anything, so I don't go anywhere. She's wrong, which puts her down to $400, which means, by some miracle, I win. I don't know how I did that, considering how bad I was sucking at this, but uh, I win. Now the credits roll. 
All right, that was Jeopardy for Sega Genesis. Thanks for watching my two-part episode of Jeopardy. That has officially played me out. I've lost my mind from this. Final thoughts. The Genesis version is slightly better. It's got better graphics, better music. Uh, it's more challenging. Uh, I recommend that one over the NES version. That's not to say the NES version is bad, because the NES version is good. It's just not as good in my personal opinion. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.